Yo, yo, what it do, baby boo? Welcome, guys, to the 30-minute podcast Q&A edition with me, your host, Tito. And uh, right off the bat, thank you guys so much for sending in your questions. Remember, a couple of weeks ago and last week, I did ask... Was it last week? No, a couple of weeks ago, a weeks ago, I asked you guys to send me, send me your questions. Why am I stumbling on my words already? It's too early for that. To send me your questions, and some of you did. For the rest of you who didn't send in questions, even though I asked two weeks in a row you guys really need to check yourselves maybe i need to do a video on how to support content creators and youtubers you know by engaging with our content i see you checking the stories you saw the prompt you know ask me a question ask me anything but only a few of you asked and it felt kind of bad that many of you saw the prompt on both occasions some of you anyway and you didn't ask me a question and it's not just that it's also when i ask you guys to click the link to listen to the podcast or click the link to watch the youtube video it's it hurts that's what i'm saying so we may have a separate conversation on this in the future in another episode or on another episode of the podcast but for now for those of you who took part thank you so much i'll be answering your questions in or on this episode rather real quick before we dive into it though please this is a chance for you guys to step up right now everyone Remember to like this video if you're watching it on YouTube by clicking on the like button and subscribe to my channel as well by clicking on the black subscribe button. You doing those things would really help me, my channel, and my content a whole lot. So please do those things. It's a huge way to support your your friends who are YouTubers and or creators or people who you just like and follow on social media, right? And also, you share the content as well with friends and family. You can copy the link and you know drop it in a WhatsApp group or a Telegram group or, or send it directly to someone who you think will actually enjoy the content. That said, guys, and hoping that you've done what I just asked you to do, let's dive into the questions from the Q&A. <laughs> All right, the first question is, do you think your attention span for movies is dwindling? I think everyone's attention span for movies and shows is dwindling, largely because of these little things in our hands, right? Cell phones, they're so distracting. But aside from that, there's so much content out these days on several types of devices and platforms that it's quite easy to get distracted so i personally yes even or especially or rather when i'm in the cinema i do get distracted by my phone especially when the movie is like lagging and whatnot so i need to do better regarding that but in answer to your question yes question two what's the best advice you have ever had i'll say it was many years ago at like a youth fellowship kind of sleepover where the guys you know i think the girls had their own sleepover with our coordinator with their with our female coordinator auntie b um they had their own sleepover and i think that same night the guys we had our sleepover at uncle ted's place right and you know there was we prayed we worshipped and then uncle b like just talked to us as you know young men growing up as christians right and i think two of the guys in the group we're getting married soon so eventually we started discussing marriage issues or marriage topics and something that uncle ted said that night and i'll never forget is that go after what you like when it comes to settling down so if you like this aspect of you know a woman or you like that aspect of a woman you know or this character this character trait or that character trait try your best to go for that now i know that you know you can argue it either way or that different schools of thought regarding you focusing on what you like or you following a more pragmatic approach and going for something that is actually more long lasting and something that actually more actually matters more in the long term. I'm not trying to get into, the, you know, into that conversation or into that debate. But what I did get from that night and what Uncle Ted was, what Uncle Ted said was that try your best to go after what you like. So if you like shorter women, taller women, lighter women, darker women, in addition to all the other qualities that really make a good spouse and that, you know, God has placed in your heart or whatever, try your best to go after what you like. And I think I touched on this two or three weeks ago on episode, was that episode f episode seven, I do believe, where I examined that video by Pastor Kingsley and Pastor Mildred Okonkwo, where they talked about is physical attraction really important in dating and marriage so yeah if you want to learn a bit more about that whole issue of going after what you like you can check that episode out i'll link it in the description below below 
or if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put it in the card in the corner of the screen. So that's the best advice I've ever been given that I can remember right now. I've received lots of advice in the past. Are you in a relationship and do you fancy any of your followers? By the way, you're really cute. Oh, thank you. And I love your intelligence and outlook on things. Thank you so much. Such nice things to say. Am I in a relationship? Presently, I'm not. Do I fancy any of my followers? I have a few thousand followers, not up to 10,000 on my Instagram. And there are lots of cute women in there. So yes, I do fancy a few of them. But am I talking to any of them actively? No. Next question. What brought on the interest in French? Any particular reason and why French? I just think it's really cool to play a sport well, to play an instrument well, and to speak a second language well. I think these are things that look re really look good on your CV, and they're just nice like skills to have that um, make you a more, more well-rounded individual and um, make you more sociable. And uh, any particular reason and why French? French, there are lots of countries I want to visit where the um, official language is French or French is spoken there, including France, you know. So I guess that's why French. And it's French is one of the more popular languages in the world, I guess. I won't be surprised, surprised if it's top five. So, yeah, you, there's a strong likelihood that you can find lots of people that speak French. And there are lots of resources because the language is so pop popular to actually learn French. There, I think there are lots of opportunities where f um, French language is concerned. So that's probably why I'm trying to learn French. Next question. Hi, Tito. If you weren't into photography or movie reviews, what would you be doing? Also, this is on a lighter note. Are you single, Tito? <laughs> so like I said earlier, I'm not in, re in a relationship. Are those two different questions? Are you in a relationship and are you single? These days, those are two separate things, right? So it's no and yes. I'm not in a relationship and yes, I am single. If I wasn't into photography or movie reviews, what would I be doing? So before I started working for myself as a photographer and then videography came in later on and then content creation came in afterwards, I used to work in the capital markets in uh, stockbroking. So I think that's where I would be out of safety because it's something that I'm slightly familiar with and I used to have like... I know I still have this personal finance channel on YouTube somewhere in this YouTube world, not on this channel, but somewhere else. So I'm still into that whole finance thing, non-banking finance though. So I would, I most likely would be doing that. But if I were to, you know, be adventurous or challenge myself, I might be in um, branding and advertising and marketing. You know, if I wanted, if I learned those skills, that's something that that's always appealed to me. So maybe that's what I, I would have been doing or the industry I would have been in if I wasn't in this media industry. Next question is one person you could have dinner with dead or alive. I'm a huge fan of Barack Obama. Uh, for those of you who've known me for a while, you know that I really admire the man. He's such a charismatic individual. His philosophy and his outlook on life are fantastic. I think the world was such a de different place when he won the elections back in, oh, was it seven or, oh, seven or oh, eight? Um, he's a fantastic family man, a great husband, a funny guy. He's just a, a, an awesome individual. And if I were to ever maybe even be in the same room with Barack Obama, I'd probably shed tears, tears of joy. So yes, um, Barack Obama or... Richard Branson. I'm fascinated by Richard Branson as well on a business level, as an in, not as an industrialist, but as an entrepreneur. And as he's such an adventurer, he's, I think we have common interests and I really would love to pick his brain. So yes, either Barack Obama or Richard Branson. But if I had to pick between the two, obviously Obama. Um, ever thought of travel blogging or vlogging? Yes, I have. Every time I travel, I want to create content from it, but it's just a hassle. It feels like work because I handle the camera and I edit so often when I'm on holiday to be doing that as well regularly feels like work. And I feel like I'd miss out on the holiday itself if I was just trying to monetize the vacation or, you know, the trip by creating content. But I have done a travel vlog in the past. In 2019, when I went to, actually the last time I went to London, England, um, I did a vlog. It was called the Insta Vlog London on a Budget. Yeah, it was lots of fun. 
and it's somewhere on youtube and i think it's also on my instagram as well if you're ever interested i think each day uh i vlogged and it was lots of fun it's a, it's a great way to relive the experience yeah tell us about the african countries you've been to or want to go to so i've been to so the first being cameroon my dad used to work there so as you know kids the whole family when myself and my siblings were kids we, the whole family would go and you know stay with him or visit him in cameroon from time to time um then ghana i've been to ghana by road that was 2017 i do believe i went for olori supergirl um to represent olori supergirl at the time it was an interesting trip um there on that trip i met the actor Micah Folari and the actress um Chino. Well, Chino and so Arubai had known for okay, we met on the trip, but we used to go to the same church. We didn't meet in church, but we met on the trip. Um, it was a very interesting trip. There were other people on the trip. You know, remember back in those days in like 2016, 17, 18, there were all those group trips that were quite popular. The, you know, this was pre-COVID and it, it, life was easier back then, and Nigeria wasn't what it is now. Nigeria, even back then, wasn't fantastic, but hey let's not get into that <laughs> so there are lots of those group trips so this was one of those group trips i think it was handled by let me not call their name because they didn't pay for for advertising or anything like that um anything like that it was a nice trip met lots of interesting people on the trip the trip was a bit of a struggle trip if i'm being honest but yeah it was an interesting time going by road from nigeria to ghana uh now places i so, so that was 2017 earlier this year i was in rwanda fantastic place fantastic trip i really loved it i think from the african countries or of the african countries i've been to thus far rwanda was the best yeah i really liked it what countries i'd like to visit going forward i'd like to visit south africa first of all and kenya and senegal yeah have you ever pounded yam i think as a kid or maybe as a teenager <clears throat> remember when we were younger we'd see them pounding yam in the backyard or somewhere we'd ask you know if you can have a go at it so i think yes a couple of times i've tried to pound yam or you know try to learn so, but it hasn't been any time and then it hasn't been recently or any time recently yeah these days i it's, i hardly even see people pounding yam I, maybe they do the whole powder pounded yam the pondo yam these days i don't know i don't know if pounding yam physically it's still a thing but I don't see it as much, particularly in Lagos, as I used to. Five things you can cook very well that will make you money in your buka. So with me and food that I cook, I cook for sustenance. I don't really cook for enjoyment and taste and, fla and flavor. I know I shouldn't be saying this, but it is what it is. I, I don't like spending a lot of time in the kitchen, so I just do like the basics and I'm in and out. But... If I were to, I I could like really season and garnish my fried eggs, you know. And if I were to do eggs and plantain, fried eggs and plantain in my buka, that might be a big hit. Um, maybe my indomie might also be a big hit. But um, I don't know if I can cook really. If the things I can cook really well are up to five, I boil yam really well. Let me not continue with this because you guys are going to get on my case in the comment section about the things I can and cannot make. So let's not even. Let's not dive into that. So I've mentioned like four things. Let's run with those four things. My plantain and eggs, I think, would slap in my buka. Whether or not the buka would stay in business for long is a different story entirely. <laughs> rice or pasta? I'm more used to rice. So I'll go with rice. I can do rice for lunch for like five days in a week. But I don't know if I could do pasta for lunch five days in a week. Irish or sweet potatoes? Irish potatoes. Ketchup or mustard? ketchup anytime any day i'm not a fan of mustard i think the only time i take mustard is when you know they put it on a hot dog for me and even at that if i had the option i'd probably say no hold the mustard agege bread or sliced bread agege bread honest opinion on mental health struggles so is that generally or my men I, well god forbid i don't have mental health struggles and i shouldn't you know claim such i don't know if i've had mental health struggles because mental health struggles are I think we trivialize things where it concerns mental health. Depression is a serious matter, especially clinical depression. But sometimes people, when they're just feeling a bit down or they're bored, they say they're depressed and they think it's like the actual clinical depression. No, we, we things that aren't as severe as men, certain mental health issues, we call them certain mental health issues. And I think that's wrong, right? 
so that's one opinion about mental health struggles right at the same time i think many people particularly in today's nigeria and the world over are going through mental health struggles with the shape that the or because of the shape that the world is in today and because of the shape that nigeria is in these days there are people that are going through all sorts of like mental health issues yeah and should probably see a therapist or a psychologist or a psychiatrist but because of the way things are and because healthcare is generally quite expensive and you know we're not a high income earning country here in nigeria if i remember correctly we're still the poverty capital of the world because of all those factors people can't seek the kind of help that they need and therefore are going through a lot so and i think it's more widespread than we actually think so yeah that's my honest opinion on mental health struggles in nigeria today honest opinion on divorce separate or separation I hate divorce. I, I I really don't like it. But um, and I think, oof. Okay, yeah. So this is a hot take on divorce and separation. Dating to settle down is tough on its own. When you are just like when you've never been married, you know, as a single person like myself, I've never been married, and I, I know that dating is a struggle generally. And dating these days, where things are so funny, is a is a struggle as well. It's an additional layer of struggle. But I often worry about my friends who are have are either have lost their their partner i.e they're widowed right or they or they've been divorced i wonder how i'm concerned and i worry about how they're going to find love again and you know get married again it's because like i said even as a single person who's never been married it's it's tough but to now have the uh, dynamic of losing your spouse once upon a time or getting divorced adding that into the mix of trying to find love again and getting into the dating market it can't be tough it can't be tough so i worry about my friends who 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 have gone through that that uh experience or that life experience right so that's my honest opinion on divorce and separation and i really hate divorce it's really painful it's such a I just think about it and yeah, let me not dive into it and get lost in that um, on that topic. But I, I hate divorce. Honest opinion on marriage. <clears throat> Another hot take. Honestly, right. If I wasn't a born again Christian and I didn't believe that marriage was ordained by God and just designed by God, I would have thought that marriage was a social construct. It was created by men like for civilization purposes stay with me i have often wondered if marriage was created so that men will take care of their children and the mothers of their children because think about it if there was no marriage men would just be having kids all over the place and not not having to commit to taking care of those kids and their mothers because it's because of marriage that honestly men are committed to their families you know to raising a family to taking care of their wives and taking care of their kids if there was no marriage men would just be (laughs) moving mad all over the place having multiple women having kids not taking care of the kids they because they wouldn't be there'd be no legal commitment for them to take care of their children or the mothers of their children so i think a few people sat down once upon a time and said come let's let's make men responsible for the for the children that they have and this was probably before contraception became a thing right so yeah let's make men take responsibility for the women that they pursue uh, or the yeah for the women that they pursue assuming that they pursue only one woman at the end of the day who they i.e being the woman that they settle down with or they have a family with so making men commit rather than just moving mad all over the place and if that if that's how things happened then it was brilliant because if not, the world would have been a very chaotic place. But like I said, I'm a born again Christian. So my default is to believe that marriage was instituted and created by God. But what I just mentioned is like a conspiracy theory. So that's my hot take on marriage. Favorite Afrobeat song at the moment. I'm not really in touch with Afrobeat music. The thing about me is when I find something I like, I stick to it. Right, and I'm, I don't really easily get into new things, so I think the most recent song that I downloaded and listened to, you know, extensively 
even though I wasn't really I wasn't really feeling it in terms of Rema songs that's not a song that I really felt that much so it's charm right that's the song I'm talking about charm um but it's not even in my top five Rema songs if I'm being honest but that's the most recent song that I really got into and charm came out like this is August right I think charm charm came out in like May or something so it's it's not even current but a song that I'm really into uh, or that i play often an afrobeat song that i play often on my phone is bling by what's his face it features amare and buju and it's by black bones and it's a 2021 song but there's hardly a time when i put on my phone to play afrobeat music that i don't play that song so that's probably my favorite afrobeat song even though it's like two or three years old honest opinion on tiktok dance challenges how much time do i have left i don't have much time left so i'll just speed through I think TikTok dance challenges are cute. They're okay. And uh, it's interesting content. Do you know how to break dance or pass current? Show me your best moves. I will show you my best moves when I see you in person. The person that asks this question. How can I make money on YouTube? And how can I also get paid easily in Nigeria? You can make money on YouTube the way everyone else makes money on YouTube. Well, people that are monetized. You can join the YouTube partnership program. You can apply for that. And it will now be if you are if you apply and you are you meet the requirements essentially it's now profit sharing between you and youtube whenever adverts roll or show on your videos i don't remember the percentage but it's split between you and youtube whenever adverts you know adverts show on youtube videos right so you can make money that way um once it accumulates a bit it gets paid into your domiciliary account there's that way and then also um partnerships or like sponsorships with brands right like um, let's say Canon or whatever wants me to talk about their product. Maybe they release a new camera. So they pay me to talk about the product in one of my videos. So that's uh, sponsorships and um, partnerships, I do believe. So that's how you can get paid or two ways you can get paid on YouTube or through content. There's also merchandise. Like if I had the 30 minute podcast hoodies, you know, I'd try and sell them. I tell you guys about them in my videos and have a website where you could um, go to and purchase them so there are a number of ways you can make money via youtube and video content generally not just on youtube so if that's something you're interested in you can google it or check youtube there are lots of youtube videos on that kind of stuff um can you bake a cake if your life depended on it no i would tell them to prepare my obituary because i cannot bake a cake to save my life favorite ice cream flavor chocolate chocolate is my favorite flavor for lots of things even like drinks, like the video drink, I typically take chocolate. Cookies, chocolate. Um, when last did you soak, Gary? Sometime this week. Um, I'm, I'll actually like, so beans and plantain, that's my favorite food, right? Or my favorite food combo. And I typically take it with Gary. So I think a couple of days ago is the last time I soaked Gary. Uh, what is Sapa? So for those of you non-Nigerians that are watching this, Sapa means like, um, like you're flat, flat broke right so that's the nickname we've given it to it. it that's the nickname we gave it here in nigeria but people explain it or describe it in different ways sapa is when you have to choose between soaking gari or eating indomie for dinner or lunch that's when you know things are red things are really tight so yeah to me that's what sapa is how do you like your fried plantain on ripe golden brown ripe super soft either between golden brown or ripe I like it when it's soft, right? But I, golden brown is is I think that's the default. So that that works for me. Pepsi or Coke? I think Pepsi because Pepsi is consistent. Coke tends to taste different between the plastic bottle, the can, and the glass bottle. It just it's not consistent. But Pepsi, I think it is. Uh, Coke or Fanta? Coke. Fanta is another thing that tends to be inconsistent when you go between or between countries and between the glass bottle the can and the plastic bottle the pet bottle worst breakfast experience that you were served honestly it will take a while i can't remember i know i've been served breakfast but honestly when i have certain bad experiences they are locked away in the recesses of my mind i don't revisit them and eventually i forget about them but they're there, like tucked down, down, deep down in the dungeons, in the recesses of, of my mind. So for me to remember any, I'd have it will take a while for me to bring it back up. So maybe in a future episode, if I remember, I will I will state it in the future episode. But for now, and because I don't want to bring myself down, because those memories tend to actually bring me down, 
uh, I'm going to have to skip this question. Maybe revisit it another time. Worst movie you've ever watched in your life? If it's not one, give one for each year. <laughs> so I, there, I've seen a lot of bad movies, especially seeing as I review movies here on this on my YouTube channel, right? Um, a couple of bad. I don't. I can't think of a worst movie, but I can think of one or two that I've seen in recent times. Unforgivable in Nollywood film, which I saw, I think last month. That was that was quite bad, and it was lengthy as well. Um, Tiger's Tale last year in another Nollywood film. I think it got on Netflix. Or was it Prime? A couple of months ago, but I saw it in the cinema last year. That was really bad. Um, oh, there was this film that Kilichu Digby was in, and um, it's like and they were in the ghetto. I can't remember the name. Yeah, so these things, I just tend to try and forget them. If I remember it, I'll put it, put it on the screen. But those are like three examples of some really bad films that I've seen in recent times. White or brown sugar? I really like brown sugar. I don't have it a lot. I typically take brown and um, white sugar, but I do like brown sugar. Pancakes or, or waffles? I come across pancakes a whole lot more, but I think I like waffles more than pancakes. I can safely say that. What color should I dye my hair next? This person, she dyes her hair quite a bit. Um, she really looks good with a blonde look, right? And uh, yeah, the bleach blonde look, she's good with that. I think she'd look good with yellow. I think she'd look all right with pink, but not like a hot pink, not like the pink of this hoodie. Maybe a lighter shade of pink, but I think she really looks, the blonde look really does, does fit her. Do you think OJ did it? Um, if heaven exists, <laughs> what, if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? I'd like to hear him say 24 hour buffet, you know, inside. Um, just kidding. I'd like to hear God say, welcome, good and faithful servant, enter into paradise. Hey, what's better than that's even in life and the afterlife. I think that's the best thing that anyone can can hear you know making heaven it's not easy to make heaven and yeah that's that's the best thing um well that's what i like to hear and god willing you know I, thanks for dropping that in my spirit i'm going to you know go forward with that thought in my mind you know as i live my life so that i can hear that when my race is over hallelujah <laughs> how how do you afford all these streaming sites that's obviously from somebody who watches my reviews. You do know that um, there's something called sharing, you know. And I don't. I'm not a. I'm not subscribed to. I don't watch that many movies. So I don't watch movies on that many sites. I think there are just three main ones who shall remain unnamed. But you know, I have siblings and um, I have friends as well. So let's just say that you know. We look out for each other. <laughs> and, you know, they're not that expensive. They're like 2000 3000 and whatnot. The one that really hurt me was... So the cinemas used to have... Well, Filmhouse Cinema used to have a subscription model. I think there was a 6000 naira plan and a 9000 naira plan. And I used to subscribe to them to watch movies at the cinema. But that recently got scrapped because of corruption. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video in the future. But next question. Are you courting anyone? Oof, I wish. No, I'm not courting anyone. Next question. Are you a full-time YouTuber? Yes, but I'm not just a full-time YouTuber. I do other things. I still am a videographer. I create video content for other people. I edit video content for other people. Um, I teach video production and video um, videography for someone. In fact, I have two appointments for that this week, which I need to prepare for. So yeah, uh, I am a full-time YouTuber, but I also am a photographer and a videographer full-time as well. You know, when those jobs come, I do that. But whether they come or they don't come, I'm here on YouTube creating my content via my movie reviews and the um, and this podcast. So yeah, those are all the questions. Thank you guys so much. Wow. Um, I appreciate those of you who took part. For those of you who did not take part, Please, when you see a content creator or anyone put, you know, a prompt on their social media that please, you know, ask me questions or what are your thoughts on this? Take part in this poll or whatever. 
it really means a lot when you take part in those things. I need to do better myself. Even if it's, I don't have a question for you, but I just want to know how you're doing. Are you okay? That's a question too as well. It's you always take part as much as you can. Don't just overlook these things. It means a lot to content creators and people generally when they put out these prompts or ask these questions for of their followers and you actually respond, you know, favorably. Thank you guys so much for listening to this episode of the podcast or watching it on YouTube. If you're watching it on YouTube or on Facebook, because I'm going to start putting my my episodes on Facebook watch as well. Uh, If you're watching this on YouTube, please like the video by clicking on the like button just underneath the video and subscribe to this channel as well and share this podcast with anyone who you feel might enjoy it. I have I've talked about talked about a few things thus far. I'm pretty sure that there'll be one or two things that would spark the interest of someone that you know. So find that episode, copy the link of it and drop it in their WhatsApp or in their DMs somewhere. Thank you guys so much for listening to this episode once again. Thanks to everyone who sent me questions. If I really grow, if the podcast really grows over the next two months, the coming two months, then we'll probably do another Q&A at the, that'll be the end of October, I do believe. Thanks, guys. You're awesome. I will catch you on the next episode of the podcast. Peace.